They'll be calling you a radical. We have huge, gigantic, breaking Fukushima news. They finally come out of the closet, and they're telling the tale exactly who orchestrated the Pacific Genocide in Plume Gate. They're telling it in exact detail. They're using the former Washington Post reporter, Mr. Bluestein, and he goes into detail. And I want to call to it, Mr. Bluestein, I want to call something to your attention. You say in your article, which is pretty well done on a lot of counts as far as the evacuation of Tokyo, but we took all the plume here in the United States, and Cancer Rates said, you laid it out in detail, except for you made gigantic flaws. You said there is nobody who really has this data. Well, I invite you to read Shane Russell's and Tony's, Patrick Henry's, and there's been a group of investigative journalists, me, Shane Russell, from the day it happened. Marine Burke, Tony. We have every FOIA document there is. We have poured through every one. We spent thousands of thousands. We have broke it down in exact, incredible detail. You say that it's not there? Oh, it's there. And I want to call attention to everybody. I'll be in New York tomorrow. Our gathering at Washington Square is not a demonstration. It is not a protest. It is simply gathering to start this, to tell this tale of Fukushima. And as far as the New York City Police Department, they're on our side. Because they have kids, too. They get cancer, too. I mean, what they went through as far as the cover-up of the plume, the firemen and the police, all you know how many of those guys died from sucking up all that stuff? And they, they know this cover-up in detail. They're on our side. We're here to freaking expose to it. And I would invite you, Mr. Bluestein, give me a call. I'd be glad to do your interview. I'd be glad to talk to you. I want everybody out there to understand why is this happening now? And they're, they are running so scared right now. They are freaking out. This is the panic button. They are trying to cover their ass. The, these guys need to be on jail. They're exposing exactly. Out of Berkeley. He ran it out of Berkeley. They're telling in detail. They're coming out of the closet now. And they're, using, and they're exposing exactly how this was run through the Situation Room. And I want you to remember something too, Mr. Bluestein. Gregory Jacko who was the man running, you quote over who was head of the NRC, he did a press conference in Japan two days ago. Two days ago. He said it's ongoing. He says all nuclear needs to be shut down. And you were supposed to be on our side, the guy from Berkeley. Yeah, I have your preliminary data. I have it. I have it. I have a whistleblower. Data. And I am not a yellow journalist, and I'm not a black and yellow journalist. And I have not been able to back it up. I've had it for a year, so I've released it. But I've released the truth. This is a major, gigantic story. You guys read through. This is giant. They are running so scared right now. They know that the populace is getting cancer and dying here in North America in droves. And this lays out in detail who the players were. They're freaking out. So they've come out of the closet. This is the first time they've released. This is brand new to the rest of the world. Of course, Shane and Tony and Maureen and myself, we've always known this. We've tried to let you read it through the FOIA documents. And like I said, Mr. Bluestein, you think that we don't know? Oh, we know. Uh, Jan and I have reported to the world. The world knows. Your Chernobyl propaganda machine, and we know who the players are. And the little mo intellectual mobs are going to turn on you like this is beyond treason. This is way beyond treason. This is so criminal. These are the greatest crimes against humanity ever perpetrated in the history of humankind. You guys read through this. I'll be at Washington Square at 1 o'clock. It's not a demonstration. It's not a protest. It's here to call awareness to try to protect all of our kids and our loved ones from what I have, this evil cancer that's in my body. You, you think this is funny, Mr. Bluestein? I'll tell you what. I got leukemia seven months after Fukushima. There's no doubt in my mind that's how I got it. I was in a bone marrow transplant suffering. It ruined my life. I've watched so much death. Fukushima is killing Thousands, many thousands in the United States. They're killing over a thousand a day in the United States. I know this. This is factual. Here's my phone number. Give me a call. You want you want to have a debate on this? Tony, Shane, myself, we have all the because we've done all the work. You haven't. You've misquoted, but you did release to the world. I'm sure that this is the PR machine. They've hired you to run it. You've released to the world who the players are. And we always knew it was at Berkeley was being run. The whistleblower told me it was being run from there. And we know factually that you guys have sequestered all the marine. You've threatened the marine biologists. We know this. You've threatened journalists. 
We know this, but you know what? You underestimated the power of social media and YouTube. The story has been told because we are the media. You're not. CBS and your quotes are so misguided. Everybody, you read all the way through this. This is gigantic. This is an indictment. Oh, these people are going to go to prison. These, this is the biggest crimes against humanity ever perforated in the history of humankind. This is gigantic, gigantic break. They're, they've come out of the closet just now. We know their names and who they are now. This is a big, big, big story. Media, I'll be in New York for a few days. Like I said, we're not demonstrating. We're not protesting anything. We're here to protect you. Even the, even you black and yellow journalistic whores. We love your kids and your unborn children. We, we love all of you. We don't want you to die of cancer. Even you 1% bankers up there, we don't want you to get leukemia and die. We don't. This is the issue that doesn't matter about how much money you got. 1% or the bottom 1% or the, it doesn't matter. I'm fi we're fighting for all of you. Like I said, the police, they're my, I mean, I have several police officers all over that are in my side every day. They email me back and forth. No, this is the one issue that will galvanize us. This is the biggest cover up in human history. And Mr. Bluestein, before you print stuff, you better talk to me, you better talk to Shane, you better talk to Tony because we're going to make you look like the fool that you are. Stay in tune.